the great people. What will happen? We'll come to that later, you know. But just keep this in mind when it's said. Next. Now, we'll stop here for a second and this is the starting of self-ex analysis. Now, in the word self-ex analysis, there are two words and one letter. Analysis, I think we did not discuss. Everybody knows what is analysis, right? We don't have to discuss what is analysis, the English word, analysis. That leaves us with one letter X and the word self. So there is only one word that we need to understand or discuss is S-E-L-F, self, because all of us have that. We're all self. Now the X stands for the unknown. Now I would like to take a few uh, round now around you, uh, your viewpoints on the word self. You know, we all have our own understanding of self, right? It's a simple English word. Uh, it's not so simple, right? The meaning. So let's see if we can participate, you know, as a group. And I'd like to learn from you, all of you, as to what you understand by the word self. Now you're gonna. Anybody can go, you know, there's no right and wrong, just give me your understanding. I'm going to write down on the whiteboard as all of you give your um, take. Oh, my so yes, uh, anybody can start. your strengths and weaknesses, your traits, your habits, and again, yourself only. Okay, habits, traits. Uh, that's equal to self, uh, according to you. Uh, that self means this attribute or this element. It's fine. No? There is definitely more, but I'm sure yeah. others will give those Correct. answers. Exactly, yeah. exactly. There's a lot more. Correct. Yes, ambitions, dreams, desires, everything. But I, I'm trying to collect here, you know, all the viewpoints. So please, feel free to let the viewpoints flow. Yes, ma'am? Anybody? Yes. Whatever you think of what we can do, we can uh, actually give that oddness to all. Yes, yes. And this can be given to you. I don't want the mic, so I want to listen to you. Right now, don't read so long. So, I think self is to do with self is to do with aspiration, ambition, and that is intrinsically related to one's conscience, or what we can also call the atma. Self means, uh, according to me, what kind of person I am uh, in two sense as a whole. That I mean, uh, uh, according to me, this is the self meaning of. Okay. Yes, keep going, please. <coughs> yes. uh, it can be my capabilities, uh, as Matt said, weakness, flaws, uh, the potentialities in one self. Dreams and desires. Dreams and desires, okay. Dreams and desires. What else? Um, I think uh, my personality, individuality, personality, individuality, my ambition. Yes, personality, individuality, yes. Yes. I also feel when it comes to self, it's not just deep down what we are, also what can be seen. That is also our physical attributes are a part of yourself, be it your height, weight, how you react, your reactions. Physical attributes are also yourself, they also make you. 
To know the potential in the particular human being. And I think it's more related with the internal power which lies within than the external appearance and other things. So that is visible to everybody. But what is inside? To know that attribute is uh, more important. I believe self uh, primarily to me is introspecting because only if I understand myself I will be able to understand someone else.